There was a strange baby in the hospital. He was covered with spikes and looked like a hedgehog. Doctors recalled the mother's thumb twitching the day before she gave birth. And here's the scary part. A large number of pregnant women began to show the same symptoms. And the babies they gave birth to were just as strange. Some were like eagles. Some were like monkeys. Overnight the maternity ward was full of these hybrid babies. At the same time, a virus called H5G9 was discovered. It was classified as the deadliest virus in history. People panicked. It was thought that the hybrid babies had brought the virus. So the government decided to kill all hybrids. To protect his son, Richard took his baby deer and fled to Yellowstone National Park to hide. He renovated an abandoned cabin and stayed there. Richard turned an old tire into a water wheel and fixed the chain link fence around it. It soon became a home and Richard took good care of Gus to keep Gus away from the outside world. Richard would draw him fairy tale books himself and he made sure that Gus didn't go over the fence. When an airplane flew by, he would cover Gus's ears so that Gus wouldn't be seen. One day, a plane dropped a flyer about a shelter for half-breeds. Richard burned it before Gus could see it. On Gus's seventh birthday, Richard told Gus about the great crash and how people hate half-breeds. He also said that Gus's mom was dead, but Gus always wanted to know who his mom really was. That day, he suddenly saw a doe. Gus was surprised to see how much it looked like him. He thought it was his mom, and it was this deer, and it was this deer, that started Gus thinking about getting out of the wire. 